Hey guys, good to see you all. I thought I'd do something a little bit different today. There's a question I get asked quite a lot, which is what's the best place to go and volunteer in South Africa, Southern Africa, uh, especially to hang out with wild animals. Now, depending on what you're into, you know, you might value different things. You might be after a certain kind of experience more than another. So I was going to create a ranking of the best places, but it may not make sense to do that um, because they're all kind of different and got good and bad things going for them, depending on what you want. So I'll just present four different ones that I've picked out for today, and you can pick for yourself which one you prefer. All right, let's get into it. Good morning. It's a random weekday in February. It's 7.30 a.m. But we are out walking with some elephants. So the first one I've picked out is Living with Big Cats with Volunteer Southern Africa. Um, this one I like a lot. I've been going there regularly since 2015. Um, I've seen it evolve, I've seen it grow. It's still a great place uh, to this day. It's a, quite a unique setup. You're close to Johannesburg, so it's easy access, and everything pretty much happens on location. It's one big farm slash small reserve. Uh, it's a sanctuary first and foremost for uh, animals which have been rescued from all kinds of different situations. Uh, you know, black market trade, or sometimes they were injured. Whatever it is, they've taken them, they've given them a home, and they need your help. You know, to contribute, they need your, your they need your muscles, they need your your support. To, to come and help run this place and give these animals a functioning home um, so that they can live out their lives well in, in those conditions. Um, it's a stunning part of the world. It's perhaps the most beautiful area of all the ones I'm going to present. It's cool. It's usually big groups. Um, you're out all day long. You know, you're very physical, very active. So if that's more what you're looking for, I will say on the perhaps downside is that if you're looking for something which is to make a big contribution to the world of conservation and you want to learn about that and the fight against poachers or preservation of certain species and so on, this perhaps isn't for you. But if you're looking more for a fun adventure, uh, to meet lots of people, to get, uh, to get closer up with the animals and you know to have a real sort of more hands-on kind of experience, this could be the place for you. Highly recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> now if you are looking for something that is really uh, about making a big difference for saving wild animals, about participating in the world of conservation, this next place is for you. This is Transfrontier Africa. It takes place in Baluli, which I believe is the largest reserve outside of the Kruger Park in the greater Kruger area in South Africa. Uh, this is the front lines, I would say, of the battle for conservation. This is where, you know, all the the fighting against poachers, again, you know, all the all the pioneering techniques and everything taking place to save wild animals. This is where it takes place. Uh, you may have heard of the Black Mambas, for example. Uh, if you haven't, they're an all women's anti-poaching team. They, they they were unique. They've been so successful that their mob model has been copied in a few places now. Um, but they've been all over the news. There's been films about them. I mean, you name it. You know, they're out there. Uh, this takes place. You know, their the, their group is in here in Baluli. Um, if you go there, you will be in the wild, like this place is wild. You will be staying in a little chalet, which has evolved quite a bit. I've been, this is another place I've been going to since 2015, and back then it was pretty rough, like all there was was a bed. Now at least there's a solar panel, there's a fan, you can charge your phone, even your laptop, so it's, it's practically luxurious now. But it wasn't always this way. Um, it's also a place where, you know, maybe an elephant might come through and destroy the pipes, so you might be with no water for a couple days, but that's just a part of living with the wild. Uh, the other side of it is the people who are extraordinary at this place. I mean, these are the people who have devoted their lives to the cause. Uh, they, you know, they are real, real devotees of, you know, the bush, of the animals, of the wild, of preserving nature. Like, if that's where you want to be and those are the kinds of people you want to talk to, this is where you go. Um, and if you want to be at the forefront of it all and you know going out and seeing vast landscapes and all the wild animals in their natural habitat This is the place to go At number three it's something a little different. It's kind of quaint kind of small a little bit out the way But I really enjoyed it um, this place is called Amakala. It takes place near Port Elizabeth. 
so way down south. And this one is kind of different, it's mostly about work inside a reserve, but you will stay outside of it in a house, uh, usually smaller groups as well, you might be you know, just three people or five people or eight people at, mo you know, at most usually, um, but really wonderful, you go out on the game viewer cars and uh, you know, you'll go out and do whatever activity is needed within the reserve to, you know, to help with any kind of maintenance or tracking or but it's just got such a nice feel to it. Um, you'll do also some work with the community, you'll work with the kids and stuff like that. So, and then the expeditions are great. You can go to Port Elizabeth, you can go to the beach, you know, it's, it's, it has that proximity in discovering that part of Africa as well. Um, but it, it's just this sort of quaint, lovely experience, which I really enjoyed. Everybody who's go there just comes back with just the happiest memories and, you know, the best time. So that's another one I do recommend if you want something a little more, perhaps a little less intense, um, but we're still definitely contributing quite, you know, quite significantly to 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 conservation, to that part of wildlife, to the local communities. Um, do recommend it. It's very open to all ages as well. So if you want something a little bit out of the way, something different, which might be on the way to Cape Town or something like that, I recommend stopping there for a week or two. It's a great place to see. And finally, at number four. Uh, we're in Namibia, this time a place called Nankuse. This is pretty well renowned, uh, it's a big place and I will say it's perhaps the all-in-one, it encompasses a bit of all the others into, into this one, because they have a big reserve which they need to take care of, they have a sanctuary, sanctuary area for larger animals and predators and also for smaller animals, which is kind of where you live, you also live in cabins a bit like uh, the second one in Transfrontier Africa. Um, so it feels the same in some ways, but also different. So sometimes you're out in the car, you know, doing tracking and viewing, but some days you're also just in the smaller sanctuaries, working with smaller animals. Kind of depends. Um, like I said, this is in Namibia. It's right next to the airport, literally, in Windhoek. Um, the cool thing about this one, I will say, the really the, the great addition that it has, is that it has all these extra add-on programs. Um, which you can go to to like different reserves or if you want to go out into the desert in Namibia they have a couple pro projects there some which are more community focused some which are more wildlife conservation focused um, they have a great I would say ethical outlook in terms of conservation they really know what they're doing they've been doing it forever um, it's also a place where you might meet more people it's bigger groups it's um, you know little, you know so if you want to meet lots of people be very international this is a cool place to go and discover Namibian culture as well which is really something unique highly recommend it um, I love my time there and out in the desert especially I thought that was one of the absolute highlights of any trip to Africa I've ever done um, so I would recommend going there for a good time it's one worth seeing Namibia it should be at, way at the top of your list of countries to visit no matter who you are it's the most extraordinary country out there I think um, so yeah, it's, this is really one where, they, where there's that bit of everything. There's the big groups and the community and the fun part of it. There's also the conservation and helping, you know, wild, wildlife in their, in their natural habitat part of it too. So it's, it's an all-encompassing one, but a little bit out the way, something different. So, you know, I think that's it. That rounds them up. Um, depending what you like, you know, I hope there's something for you there. And I, I like all of them, to be honest. Uh, I wouldn't recommend them if I didn't. I've been to all of them at least once, some several times. Uh, it's more a matter of you know wh what part of the world you want to explore, what kind of contribution you want to make, what kind of experience you want to have, how many people you want to see, etc. Um, so you can pick one that's right for you. Uh, I have extended videos about each one of these places on my channel. In some cases, I have several videos, so you can get a real feel for it if you want to have a look around. Uh, when it comes to Transfrontier Africa, I even made a whole. 40-minute documentary there, which you can even see on my channel as well, which really goes into depth about wildlife conservation and the, the fight against poaching that took place there, so that can give you a, a you know more in-depth feel about the place. So yeah, there we go. That's um, that's my general overview so far. I think um, I don't have a personal favorite, but you know they're all great. I enjoy them all. Everybody does. Everybody who goes to any of these places. Um, usually ends up going back or talks about them forever because they're so great. You know, that's the case for all of them. There's no, there's no bad choice here. So I hope that helps. I hope you get an idea of what you can pick out. And like I say, check my channel for more content in depth for each one of these if you're interested. All right. Thanks for watching. Till next time.